This video is about the delusional narcissism of modern dating. I believe there's several problems with the modern dating world, which I'll go into more detail with in this video. And to find out more, please stay tuned. Welcome to the SCG Show, the home of education entertainment. And please do me a favor, if you really enjoyed this video, smash that like button, I would really appreciate it. What is the point of dating? This is according to Wikipedia. One of the main purposes of dating is for two or more people to evaluate one another's suitability for long-term companionship. So that's straightforward. To basically have a person to have romantic relations with, to get married, start a family, or just have a life partner. If that is the purpose of dating, why are we seeing, especially in the Western world, a record number of divorce and split up? Or why are more people just splitting at the drop of a hat than ever before? Why are couples who look destined to grow old together throwing in the towel at the very first sign of adversity? There's countless arguments for all those questions. People who belong to online communities such as the red pill and the female equivalent and so on blame it on hypergamy, unrealistic standards, narcissism. But I think the two core issues really are when it comes to modern dating spiraling out of control is the fact people are indeed too delusional and they are too entitled. Narcissism is on the rise and is spreading fast and being thinking and acting in a delusional manner goes hand in hand with that. I went to five weddings back in 2018, all expensive, all with people long term, different age groups, different backgrounds. Four of them are now divorced, some with kids and some never got to that stage. I know there's a small number to generalise, but it makes you think that dating is a little bit of a mess at the moment. Don't get me wrong, modern dating has its perks. I mean, you can meet somebody literally at the drop of the hat online that you would never meet in the real world. And some of the best couples I know have met through dating apps. So it's not entirely all doom and gloom. But for most people who are thinking with their genitals, with their wallets, it's not so rosy. The unrealistic standards and needs being put on couples and individuals when it comes to dating right now is a serious problem. Here are my thoughts on this subject. Now let me be clear, most people need to have their finances in order. That means having a steady income, some savings, emergency fund, the ambition to maybe own a home or rent your ideal place and support your financial future. You do not need to be an investment banker or own a large business. You just need basic financial security. Unfortunately, the delusional narcissism of modern dating, all of that's gone out of the window. A guy I know wanted to date an extremely attractive woman he met at the gym. They got on well, but she insisted that you got to impress me financially. Big red flag. But foolishly, he went along with it. He could barely afford to keep up with her needs, spending thousands on jewellery, trips to luxury places, a car he couldn't afford and more. He was on a low income, he still lived at home with his parents. And the iron ironic thing was, so did she. She wasn't wealthy, but she demanded a wealthy lifestyle. And because he gave it to her, she then expected more. The reality was he got himself into a mountain of debt, credit card debt, and all he was paying off was interest. And when those chickens eventually came home to roost, he turned to his girlfriend to confess. He said, I love you, but I cannot afford to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm burning a hole here. I'm broke in debt. But... I know you love me the way for who I am, right? Not my money, right? She dumped him on the spot. Now you may be thinking, okay, but she was just a gold digger. Perhaps, but money has now come into the dating world more than ever before. It's not about who the person is on the inside, but how much they earn, where they live, what they drive, what their parents are worth, what their grandparents are worth. What assets do they own? These were never really in the picture before, but the average single male or female is now obsessed by it. Be incredibly careful when somebody is pushing money to be the main reason that you need to date someone. The quote beauty in, is in the eye of the beholder 
has never been further from the truth with modern dating. Considering when online dating is all about how a person looks with algorithms and the more matches, more interest they get, guys frantically search the web to try and find ways to hack an online dating algorithm or get to the front of the queue. Do you know what the number one reply is when people say, why am I not getting matches? Why am I not getting any interest with online dating? People always say, just be better looking. That is the superficial standard men and women are dealing with these days. Same goes with social media. A woman can hide behind filters upon filters, making her look nothing like what she actually looks like. And the same with guys. Guys can post pictures of lots of money, stand by a flash car, and make out that they're millionaires, entrepreneurs, or they're living the fast life. One of my exes was a very attractive woman. And even when dating and she told the world she was in a relationship, she still received, on average, five to ten messages a day on her social media and was stopped in the street. Stuff like, can I take you out from guys or dump your boyfriend for me? And even one guy messaged saying, I'd drink your bathwater. Despite what your mother may have told you, looks in modern dating matters. People are more superficial than ever before when it comes to dating. Guys and girls are just as bad. A guy I know dumped the sweetest, nicest girl he was dating for a long time because she was not sexy and she dumped her, he dumped her for somebody else. And he ended up dating a narcissist who gave him absolute hell. Now, I'm not saying settle for an average person or doing so is right or wrong. But when all you care about is looks, that is delusional not to mention narcissistic, and it does not look like it's slowing down at all. I should mention this is also the reason why so many people cheat. They believe they're sleeping with somebody more attractive than the person they're dating. And it's very, very sad to see. Are you enjoying this video? If you are, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. When I left my high school, I was delighted to see that the popular kids, the jocks, the nerds, etc. was just a phase that, to, that you need to go through. But I noticed as I got older, social media is to thank for this and in certain cultures, that cliques and groups like in high school still exist. It's pathetic, sad and narrow-minded. Thus, if a person, despite how attractive or successful or great they have done to fit in with people... If they are not accepted by a clique or they are pigeonholed to be a jock, a nerd, a loser, whatever, they're immediately dismissed. A guy I know was dating a woman who was part of a clique. She was like those girls in Mean Girls. And they were all the same, like they were in their 30s, they gossiped about people, dressed alike, and they were so rude and judgmental. And when she mentioned the girl that this guy was dating, she was dating this guy they immediately scurried to social media to see that he had other interests, like he liked comic books and video games. Ugh, he's a dork. Get rid of him, said one of the ringleaders in the group, which he did. What she forgot to notice is this guy was extremely successful and was a software developer. He was six for six, very attractive, in great shape and a really nice guy. But again, because he did not fit into a stupid and childish idea of what is cool and he wasn't going to be accepted they dismissed him girls and guys can be brutal like this a group of jocks told one of their friends to dump a lovely loyal girl because she was too conservative she came from a good family and because she didn't like getting drunk and she never used to like party hard they said oh she's boring his loss because she was again attractive smart successful and a pleasure to be around if toxic people are creating clicks and have these stupid standards, what luck do you have getting accepted? But the reality is you don't want to be accepted. You don't want to be part of these stupid crowds. Trust me, you're better off without. You're better off seeking like-minded people who enjoy your company, likely for who you genuinely are, not what others say you are. Because the wrong things are priorities in modern dating these days, looks, status, money and other stuff, there are serious consequences. Red flags are willingly ignored. Here are some examples of typical 
dating red flags. Someone that never initiates meeting up. They never contact you at all. They never offer to pay for anything. They only ever speak or talk about themselves. They are extremely entitled. They're very selfish and they lack empathy. They have emotional baggage, in some cases serious baggage. They are drama queens and kings. They are disrespectful, judgmental and rude. Therefore, when these are ignored, for example, to accommodate the superficial things such as, oh, but they're good looking, oh, but they've got money, oh, but this, that, problems unfold. Arguments, shouting, cheating, disrespect. All because they look amazing in a dress or they look really hot in a tuxedo. In my opinion, modern dating is a mess. But like I said, you should clue yourself up on what to look out for and what to definitely avoid. Otherwise, you're just going to get really badly burnt if you're not careful. I am warning you and telling you this from personal experience. There are better people out there suited for you. Just don't participate in all of the rubbish. Thanks for watching.